Despite the Category 5 storm, Carnival cruise ships actually departed today for destinations in the Caribbean. And as ABC Action News investigator Adam Walser learned, those who decided not to board were told they won't be getting their money back. Tampa's Carnival Cruise Terminal is normally a happy place, but not so much today. They really don't care if we're happy or not. Natalie Cochran had booked a trip to Cuba on the Carnival Paradise. We were thinking that they would tell us two days ago that we could stay home and not stress, but here we are trying to figure out if we're going to Cuba or not today. Emails arrived this morning telling passengers their trip was a go. They're still going to cruise, like they said, and they may change the itinerary and go somewhere other than Cuba. Did they say anything about refunds? No, no refunds. Dana Mims flew in from California for the cruise. She says she's not worried about possible stormy seas. As long as we're moving away from the hurricane, I should be okay. And my wife and I turned 30, and it was a gift from family as well as um, half of our money. Chris and Rachel Zapetto were booked on a carnival cruise leaving Miami today, but had to stay home. He's a paramedic first responder, and she's a nurse. Both are now assigned to work, but Carnival wouldn't give them a refund. For them to just treat us treat us like, well, get on the ship or lose your money, it's outrageous. You told them you're a firefighter? Uh, yes, sir. We told them I was a firefighter, and uh, they said, well, well, sorry. When Hurricane Harvey struck Texas, cruise ships were kept at sea for days because it wasn't safe to return. The Zapetos worried that might happen in Miami, where Carnival closed its own headquarters today. You know, why would you endanger people's lives like that when you already know it's coming? And they said it's just business. I'm I-Team investigator Adam Walser taking action for you. Well, thank you, Adam. Meanwhile, we've just learned people who decided to leave that ship will now get some kind of a refund from the cruise line.